Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a get ready with me. Um, I did my makeup, I did my hair, I did everything, and I mostly just talked. <laughs> it's um, not instructional in any way at all. It's not, you know, anything groundbreaking, nothing new, same old products probably that you're used to seeing me use. But yeah, I just thought that I would film it and I would talk to you guys because I love to do that and I always get, you know, some good feedback. So yeah, that's going to be it for the intro. So if you would like to see how I got this look and my hair, then just keep watching. Um, today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for a girl's night out. Um, yeah, so I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair really good. Um, feels so much better. I love to get my head washed. <laughs> I'll just scrub, 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 and it felt so good. So now that I've done that, as soon as I finished with my hair, I went in with some skincare, which is my um, L'Oreal Revitalift 1.5% Hyaluronic Acid. It is amazing. I'm using the crap out of it. It's between the $20 and $22 range, something like that, at drugstore like Walmart. Yeah. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do before I do anything with my hair is I probably need to go in with something that is a little bit uh, moisturizing. And I don't really want to use the heavy moisturizer that I normally do because it's so freaking hot here in Alabama. So, I think I'm just going to go in with, well, that's not what I want either. That's a mask. I tell you what, let's just go in with this. Um, I'm going to be indoors, and it says, uh, okay, this is just my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Um, it's about to write there. It's right there. I just, oop, I'm not even on camera. It's right there. Um, I've, I've really loved this. Let's shake it just a little bit. I usually use two to three pumps. Um, I mean, I think it says to use one, but I like to bring it down my neck. So, I'm just going to do this all over my face. I, it's crazy, you know, as you get older, you start noticing things about yourself. One of the things that I noticed about myself is that, uh, um, I had this little spot come up on my forehead. I think it might be a sunspot, but I'm not positive. Um, I was just randomly doing my makeup one day and, um, I was moisturizing like this and I noticed that there was this little crusty spot. It was like, really, it felt like I had burnt myself with a curling iron or something is what I thought it was originally. And so, you know, I, um, continued my moisturizing before bed. I did everything I normally do and it was still really dry and just a crusty little brown spot. So, when I am um, working on something or concentrating, I tend to do this or this, and that's not good. But one of the things that I did is, like, when I wasn't thinking, I was kind of picking at it, and it got red. Um, this is the second time for that to happen. I cannot, I wish I could keep my hands away from my face, you know? But, um, yeah, so now it's this little red spot. And I'm going to have to work on covering it, but I want all that to be soaking in while I'm doing my hair. Now, as far as my hair is concerned, I'll just use a, a good old brush here. I also use, um, this is behind the, uh, beyond the zone, excuse me, turn up the heat, flat iron protection, helps shield he hair from heat damage. This right here, I got it, I actually ended up getting this one free, but it come from Sally Beauty Supply. It's really good. The girl that does my hair uses this too. Now, I use it on my hair before any kind of heat. Blow dryer, curling iron, flat iron, anything. So, I like to use this because normally I let my hair air dry, but you know, I gotta get ready because we're going and doing some stuff tonight. So. Yeah, so my friend Lisa and I are going to go out, and we're going to go have some fun. So, all right. Uh, what I did after I washed it, I used my purple shampoo from, I think it's L'Oreal. It's in the little uh, metallic purple squeeze containers with a yellow lid. Anyway, I've shown it to you guys before in empties and stuff. So, I used that. I had some more of my Cell de Janeiro um, conditioner, the bubblegum cream smell or whatever. Oh, God, I love it. But I used a go water that and then I used a large tooth comb to kind of get the majority of the knots and kinks and things out of my hair or whatever and so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna section it off 
And my mirror here, just for some reason, decides that it wants to kind of flicker a bit. So if you see that, I am sorry. And I hope it's not distracting. I really do. It's going to go on and off because of the way that I have my um, brush and other things laying in front of the motion sensor or whatever. So, yeah, there's that. I don't even know where that thing come from. I got it off like Amazon or someplace like that. It's a really good one. Um, I usually just keep it plugged in at all times, but sometimes I unplug it like for, you know, doing my hair and things. I've got a little uh, personal fan sitting here <laughs> keeping me cool. But, um, okay, so what I did is I washed my hair with that, and then I went in. Let me go ahead and section it off one more time. And then what I did is I used two separate leave-in conditioners. The first one I have been using for literally 15 years, something. It's by Paul Mitchell, and it is called The Conditioner. <laughs> and it's just a leave-in conditioner that is like um, this jellyfied blue color. I put about a nickel size of that in the palm of my hand, and then I use the Fructis uh, Sleek and Shine Leave-In Cream. Um, it's in a little green bottle, um, a little squeeze bottle. And I usually put like maybe a quarter size of that. And then I just do my hands together and I flip my hair over and I just get all the ends and up, you know, go. I work my way up towards my scalp or whatever. But I try to get it everywhere. So, I have conditioned and I've separated because my hair is long. Not so much because, I guess I better try to get this up. Um, but no, it's, it's because... Okay, this is not going to work. Let's see here. Let me get all of it up. Okay. Uh, I don't usually have an issue separating. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, here we are. <laughs> okay, so I've got it separated because my hair is, um, it's not necessarily thick, even though it's good and poofy, but it is long. And so I have to section it. Then what I do is I go in my hair dryer and my round brush and I just comb through it, which gives the cuticle a minute to kind of settle down a little bit so that when I go to curl it, the ends are not cramped and things like that. More, li more than likely, that's what I do. So I'm gonna go in right now and I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I'm gonna speed through that for you and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, you can see that my hair is nice and dry now. It's nice and smooth because I used the brush. And yes, I am going to curl it. And this is really the best method if you're going to leave it straight. Because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to dry it straight and then try to curl it. But my hair is pretty good about minding. Um, usually it is. I hope I'm not jinxing myself. <laughs> but anyway, so that's it. What I do now, I'm going to just go in and I'm going to pull it all up on top of my head it won't matter if it gets creased or anything like that really because i will be curling it i just don't want to crimp it too bad like with a uh scrunchie or a um you know a uh an elastic or anything so okay so that's what i'm gonna do my hair should stay pretty well right there like that you see how red in the face i am one thing i do that i think everybody should do is um when you've gotten your hair dry i use the cold shot option on my um my dryer and i cool my hair back down again against the scalp and the ends and everything you can see that i'm really red in the face because i'm super super hot right now but i did do that and it helps the cuticle to not be quite so you know upset or whatever so that's that now yes i am a little bit sweaty but it seems as though the primerizer that i had on is doing just fine Oh gosh, where to start, where to start, where to start. Okay, this is gonna be a long ass video. This is gonna be long. Um, 
Let me go get something to drink and you probably need to do the same. <laughs> okay, I have my drink. This Starbucks cup was from this past Christmas. Maybe the Christmas before. It was a Christmas release. I have that one and another one that's kind of a pinky rose gold color. Just using my sugar, fresh sugar lip balm because I freaking love it. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry about that. Coke, Diet Coke. Diet Coke will do it every time. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get started on my eyes. I need to bring my little brush container. I got brushes. I got three. I recycled the uh, candles from Bath and Body. I've got three of those back here. And these are the only ones I use. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, don't, I don't get me wrong. I use them, but I don't use, use them. You know, it's like, I have different ones that I like to use. Like this one for, for real, for real, the Smart Jacobs brush is, it's, it's awesome. And I love it. And I love this one from Wet n Wild. It was part of their Pac-Man collab or whatever. Love this. It's just not in my rotation at the minute, you know. Um, they're clean. I tend to be using these that are not clean. I got my Hourglass. I've got some from, uh, this. I think this was a Tarte release during Christmas. I got Elf. I got uh, Real Techniques, Morphe, Sigma. You name it, I've got it. Oh, and I've got my It Cosmetics uh, Foundation is the love is a foundation brush they oh god this is the this is the number one best foundation brush you will ever find it's only available in october which is breast cancer awareness month at ulta the problem or actually you might can get it online at it cosmetics online but i'm not i'm not sure about that i just know you can get them in store they usually release them about mid september and they usually have them uh, you know until uh the month of october is done if they don't sell out last year they made a real mistake last year this is the one that they did it's a different design every year they're always pink and pretty and all that see the difference this one's a flat top. This one's good, got that bit of a dome. This one, I wouldn't have, I would not have spent my money on it if I had known that. But I ordered it online, so. Um, but yeah, this one's really the better one, and they're usually around thirty to thirty-five dollars, something like that. But my God, they're worth every penny. So, okay, what am I doing first, guys? Okay, I'm gonna go in with my pretty vulgar um, eyeshadow base. I got this, I think, in a boxy charm or something. I don't know. Got it somewhere. But I'm telling you, I started using it and I freaking love it. I mean, it is so good. It's, um, I need to get my nails done too. Um, it's really good because it's super tacky when it dries. And I love that about it because it makes your shadow stay so much longer. And it's so much easier to blend on top of that tacky because what you do is you put an all over color it can be uh you know like a nude tone or it could be a little powder loose powder anything you want it to be just to get over all of it and that gives you it clings on to that initial color of powder or shadow or whatever it is you want to use it clings on to it so well that it's completely set in. It's just like setting your under eyes. It's completely set in, and then you can blend anything on top of it in the crease or anywhere like a dream, like a freaking dream. So that's why I've been loving that, and I'm so glad it was in Box Charm because I've never been really drawn to that brand, you know? Okay. Gosh, I don't. <laughs> the last video I put up on my other channel took me four days to get it to upload because the service here is so bad. That's another subject for another day. Maybe I'll come back to it, maybe I won't. I don't know, but okay, next. All right, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Bot Size in uh, Cream and Sugar. I'm just gonna go in with this one because it's just a good uh, skin tone um, matte. And I like to use this little brush from Morphe, which is an A14. It's just a little fluffy brush. This guy's is nothing new. There's nothing, you know, like crazy going on here. This is this is me, and this is what I always do. And so, really, 
you know that I'm not a makeup artist. You, you know that I'm not really good at what I do, but um, it's mostly more about me just talking and rambling, right? You just want to kind of hear some shit. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, so, guys, I just got to tell you, this breakup situation has gotten comical. I mean, it really has. Uh, a couple of nights ago, is that Izzy moving around? No. It's a bird. <laughs> um, okay, you guys know that I'm single now. And um, a couple of days ago, I just shot him a text to just let him know, you know, there's no hard feelings or whatever. We're not going to get back together, but, you know, there's no hard feelings. And, you know, to, I just want him to kind of see where things were at from my perspective because I can't see from his and he can't see from mine unless we communicate, right? Okay, so I did that as a courtesy. I mean, I really did. I did that as a courtesy. I didn't have to... I wasn't explaining myself and I wasn't giving excuses, but I did not have to reach out. But because of the human that I am, I did. And, um, yes, I'm putting on a lot, but I'm making sure that there is nothing tacky going to hit this eyeball. So if anything grabs the brush, I know it needs more. You know what I'm saying? So I just keep going until there is nothing grabbing the brush. Okay, so I reached out um, early in the day and late that night. I got a response, um, a weird response. He sent me a picture of his new place or whatever, and he claimed he thought he was sending it to his daughter. Our name is not even close. He was sending it because he wanted me to be jealous. He bought a shed. He's making a tiny home out of a shed. It's got a cute little front porch on it and all that, and he wanted me to be jealous because I'm stuck in this crappy trailer but not for long. And he was like, you know, he wanted me to be jealous and he wanted me to come over and probably look at it, you know, make a comment about it, all that shit. No, sir, honey. No, sir. So what I did is I didn't respond. And then I'm going to go in with this uh, Sigma. It's a, just a, you know, a crease brush. I'll say any crease brush works. Been using this one for years. It's the one and only. I probably need to order another one, but I've always heard that they're made differently than they used to be, and this is one of the originals. I do have some other crease brushes and stuff that I can use and that I do use if I'm using, like, doing a really colorful look or something. But for regular, I, I, I just stick with the same one. It, you know, I mean, why would I not? <laughs> okay, so let me go in with, I got to decide what color I'm going to go in with, though. I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Born to Run palette because I love, freaking love this sucker. But yeah, so, um, let's see. Let's go in with, I'm going to mix these two together. It's a Still Shot and Riff. I'm going to put those together. I'm just going to kind of go across and get a little bit of each. Tap it to take it off. Grab my mirror. Start blending. Okay, I, and I am going to look at my mirror. I'm going to look that way too. So, I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to see. I'm old. Please forgive me. I'm old. Okay, so I'm just going to go with my crease. Um, I just like to use little circle motions. Um, you know, the thing of the day of the windshield wiper motion is gone. Uh, Jaclyn Hill still talks about it, but that's been gone for years now. I mean, we're talking like 2008 YouTube. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just as guilty as anybody else. I did it, you know. Um, what I like to do now is I just like to make sure that it's in my crease. I do like to blow out that initial color and I like to come more straight out than just you know like this or whatever so that's what I like to do now because I have hooded lids and mature skin and it doesn't show if I stick strictly to the crease it, I mean there would be no point in even putting it on there unless I'm gonna be walking around looking down or with my eyes closed all day we know that's not gonna happen okay so I just go in circle motions through the crease. I bring it out just a little bit where it's going to overlap with that color I'm going to put in the outer corner. So, it wasn't long before apparently he finally read the text I sent him early in the day. Guys, he started blowing my phone up. He blew my phone up until midnight. 
I didn't respond, not once. I'm so proud of myself. Because he was really trying to trigger me. Oh my God, he was trying really hard to trigger me. And he didn't succeed. Um, if you're watching this, I saw oh, you didn't succeed. Um, so he, he carried on about how he had always, he did everything that, I, you know, I, he said he was a 24 hour caregiver. <laughs> Guys, I think you know me. <laughs> yeah, he actually said that. He made fun of my degree from the University of Alabama, master's grade 4.0. He made fun of that. He said the only thing I would be able to teach were, and I quote, and this is terrible, kids, that drool. He said that's all I'm qualified to teach. I taught middle school for 25 years. Wow. I mean, not that I'm having to explain myself because that m moron, he didn't even graduate from high school. He had to quit school, get a job, and help pay rent and other things to help his family. And then he ended up being an emancipated minor at like, I don't know, 14, and was living in California under a bridge. But he's making fun of me because he said that my degree didn't mean anything really. So that's always been a topic of discussion. And he carries on about it every chance he gets, you know, whenever he gets mad or when he's been drinking, which seems to be a lot lately, he starts acting out. And I'm not here for it, guys. I'm not here for that shit. No, 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 no. So, let me see what I want to do next. I think I'm going to go in. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this one. See, I could have used Weekender, this one right here, because it's, uh, let's see, this one. It's a matte, um, but that one's got a little bit more color to it. It's a little more warm tone, so I used it instead. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with, let me put some of this crap up that I'm definitely not using again. Let me go in with a more precise shader brush, one I always use. It's always in my cup. I use it every single plan with me, or get ready with me. Okay, uh, let's see here. I, I'm just going to go in with uh, this one right here, this dark brown, and the same palette. It's called Good Is, Good Is Gone. Yeah, ooh, he's good as gone. Ooh, ooh, I could have planned that better if I tried. So anyway, I mean, there was all kinds of insults being thrown about. You know, just always something. It's always something. And I am too old for drama. I just am. So I didn't respond, you know. Then he starts saying how he had been hearing about everything I had been doing, which is staying at home, filming videos, and doing diamond painting. But anyway, he said that he knew everything that I had been doing and that uh, he was tired of hearing about me from everybody in this county, which don't get me wrong. I agree right there. I mean, you know, there are people that don't know me that talk about me, and they act like they've known me my whole life and everything that I'm about and everything. But where I've been going and the people I've been hanging out with, they don't even know him. He's not, I mean, there is no common ground there. There's no common friendships. There's none of that shit. It, 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 yeah, he ain't heard nothing about me. Uh, but he's been telling everybody he has. Uh, and he's been telling, you know, like me. I, I keep hearing about you. And he told me, he says, you need to find another place to go. You're the one that moved me out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to go wherever the hell I want to go, you know? Okay, same color. Outside corner in the crease and the I just like to do all one color and I like to just smudge it out all right there in one area and I'm still using my circular motions I just either go this way or this way you know sometimes I just poke it in there and I move it around I'm not lifting the brush up off of my skin but I'm moving it around so that the color all around the center is getting color too so sometimes I'll do that just to help with the blending I blend like I'm demon I mean I I just have been wanting to blend really well and not have any. I want my makeup to look nice. If I'm going to take the time to do this, I I just I just don't see any need why I would, you know, be lazy about it. Because it looks so much better when you blend, you know. It really does. And I'm nowhere near finished blending, but you can see how the color is going on. It's getting there. It's just one of those things, you know, guys, you got to. You gotta, um, you just gotta work at it a little bit. Okay, so the text went from everything I've ever done wrong in my life and how horrible I am. My parents don't even love me. Um, 
you know, I don't have any friends. I, you're a poor, pitiful, pathetic human being. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, I mean, you know, we're talking about somebody that was depressed for three months and never left the bed. But he did everything. He was my 24-hour-a-day caregiver. Anyway, so, the, some of these things that were said just, like, really get me. Okay, and, and I mean, these are things that were sent to me in a text message. This is not something I heard hearsay on the grapevine situation. No, these were things that were sent to me. <laughs> Directly to me. So, I'm going to go in now. I've got like this little bitty short shader brush. I just cleaned it. Thank God I finally got the, the thought in my head to clean it right now or it's never going to get cleaned. It's, it's the phone started my... ringing. You guys know that I, I film with my phone. Okay, I've got Too Faced shadow insurance and this little bitty teeny tiny can't see a little flat pointed brush i'm gonna put just a dab of this on there and then, then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna sort of like cut the crease i guess you could say but i'm not doing it like with concealer i'm not doing it with anything like that because the color that i'm gonna be using on my lid is a a real sparkly foiled chunky kind of color and so you know, I want something that's going to really hold it in place. So, it will remove a little bit of the shadow that I've put on, but that's okay. Just get down into the corner, and then I start working. I do go up and above my crease just a touch. Sometimes it's helpful if you go backwards, if you got a clump of that stuff somewhere. I don't go all the way up and get rid of, you know, that color in the center there. My phone's busy. And so, I don't do that. And you can kind of see where it lightened it up because it lifted it some. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. You're going to put another shadow there anyway. So, one of my friends, the one that I'm gonna hang out with tonight Lisa she just got out of a relationship too and he was a moron I think all men are morons you know I'm getting to the point where I just don't even care anymore I've had two relationships that crashed and burned <laughs> I'm tired of that shit. I, I'm tired of it you know what I'm saying because I think I'd rather just be single than to deal with all the drama like getting texted one right out there oh boom 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 and you would say why did you not block him I know that's what you're asking because he still got a part to my car that I need to get from him. And so I don't want to, you know, like completely sever everything. I've got him blocked everywhere else, but I don't want to sever it until I get my car part from him. And then, and then I will do the blockage, the blockation, you know? So, um, yeah, so that's the situation I'm in right now. And so, um, there was, he said, well, my place is going to be great. It's going to have all granite countertops and brand new furniture. And it's just going to be the bomb. Do you remember what I say? He bought, uh, he bought a garden shed that he's making into a tiny house. Tiny houses don't have a whole bunch of granite countertops. <laughs> and if he's going to put furniture in there, it's going to be little bitty and there's not going to be much of it. I think it looks like it's about a 12 by 12 at the most for a, a whole kitchen, bathrooms, a bed, and a living area in a 12 by 12 area. So, it was laughable when he started that because he really just wanted to make me jealous. And he wanted to give me a reason to come back around. Because, see, I know him well enough to know that's what he was doing. He's got issues. So, what I did, I ignored them all. I was great. I was great. I was great. <laughs> no, I, I was I was good. I, I did what needed to be done, which was ignore. I'm not sure what color I want to do on my lid. I don't know if I'm going to go back into the elf or if I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to use this. I, let's just go in with this. I'm going to use this color Stranded right here. That one, it's, uh, it's a shimmer. But it's not a glitter. So, let me try that. Let me find a brush that will work. Uh, that one probably will work here. This one definitely works. This is from Eco Tools. It's a dual-ended brush. But it's really nice. It's got the angle brush on one side. And it's got that little fluffy packing brush there. 
And I'm just gonna go into that color stranded and load my brush up. And then I'm gonna go in on my eyeball and just kind of lay it in. And that shadow insurance grabs it and just helps that full look so great. Yeah, you're gonna have to blend it into the other color so it's more of an ombre, but you don't have to worry about it not showing up. And it does look a little rough at first. But I'm gonna corral it. I'm gonna blend. See the difference? Pretty, right? It just gives your eyeball a little bit of a highlight. My eyes are blue, if you didn't know. And browns always look good with greens and blues. I think so anyway. Blues look really good with black and silvers and grays, silver tones, you know, things like that. But I think that this is just more wearable. Um, you know, I'm not full glam going out, you know, on New Year's kind of situation. It's not, you know, it's not that situation. It's just me and a friend going out and I want to look nice, you know? So yeah i just ignored so many things that were being thrown and hurled at me and i am so proud of myself because usually i i just respond right back and he knows that i normally just respond like right back so um my lack of response should have told him if it didn't already it should have told him i'm just gonna go in with my crease color again just kind of just make sure that it's there And then I'm going to go in with the, uh, um, well, it was, what did I do with it? <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with this one that I used in my outer corner. No additional product, just blending those colors together so that they have that ombre effect so it looks like it just goes from one color to the next really seamlessly there we go okay i'm gonna put this up because i don't want anything to happen to it i'm just gonna put this back in my tray for a minute because i need to go in and do some damage control all right let's see here um i'm just gonna use a cotton round And then I'm gonna go in with my Bioderma. I'm just gonna put something on there. Just saturate it pretty good. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean up underneath my eye. I'm going out, not up. Okay, guys? Out, not up. So yeah, it really just, I mean, I thought we could at least be friends, but we, when we went out to dinner, you know, the other night when we went out to dinner, he got really mad because he wanted to stay in town and just get a room. I agreed to dinner. I didn't agree to hopping back in the bed and pretending like everything's hunky-dory. No. Mm -mm. Not this girl. Not going to happen. Okay, that got all of the fallout and everything. Now I'm gonna go in with my uh, Pure Hydrogel under eye stuff because my, my dry under eyes are a real situation. Put that on. It's just like tap stick for your under eye. I just use my ring finger just to warm it up just a little bit to make it, you know, kinda be there and keep that under eye happy so I can't tell you guys just just how crazy it's been being alone again and how much I'm enjoying myself I am not um, sad not depressed 
not lonely. I have other people in my life. I don't have just him. So, it's just, I don't know. I, I think he thought that he had me isolated. I wasn't. So, and he's like, well, I'm glad you found some money somewhere. You never had money while we were together. I get paid the same thing I always did. And he still refuses to admit the fact that I paid all the bills, every single bill out of my paycheck for three months straight without any help from him so he could save all of his money to put down towards a down payment for us on a piece of property, which praise the Lord, hallelujah, that I did not, oh, praise the Lord, I did not go there. I think that us losing the land deal a couple of times over was just the Lord's way of saying, Kelly, no, 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 no. So, yeah, there's that. Let me um, decide how I want to go ahead and go forward. Got a message I need to look at. I'll be right back. Okay, took care of that. Um, okay, I'm going to go in with my orange stick that I like to use that I've been using for years, literally. I just like to go in and try to do a little color correct because, you know, of the dark circles I have under my eyes. And uh, I'm kind of dark in the corner of my eye as well. And right underneath the lash line. So I've been putting some more there recently just to kind of give it even more, you know, to give it a little extra something, something. And then I just use a larger flat shader brush just like I did with my eye. And then um, I just go in and I just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And that's all I really do. So, um... Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm happy right now. I'm happier than I've been in a year, I guess. Sometimes things just don't work out because the Lord knows what's good for you and what isn't, you know. And that was just, an, it was, it was waiting to go off. I mean, it really was. See how orange that looks under my eye? I know a lot of people don't think you should color correct anymore and everything, but when you have mature skin and really deep crevasses in your face like I do, it does help a bit when you do this. And it's easier for con the color of concealer to cover it than, um, and I'm being very, very gentle. Even though it's moving my eye around, the, uh, that skin underneath is really thin, even though it's moving it around a lot. I'm still just barely touching because that's very a very creamy consistency. It's almost like an oil pastel, if you know what that is. But that's kind of what it's like. And so, I just put that underneath there. And yeah, it makes me look like I'm so sick. <laughs> Looks like a form or a version of jaundice, doesn't it? Anyway, okay, let's go in with... Uh, how do I want to do this? Last time I did it, and I didn't really like it. But I'm going to go in again with... My Physicians Formula Cream Bronzer in, uh, what color is this? Well, it don't say. I thought it told me. It just says Sculpting Bronzer, bronzer with Jojoba Oil. I think it was the lighter of the two, but I'm not sure. I just know that it works pretty good. But I've learned finally how to do this so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go in right here instead of making a big thick stroke just gonna do a little bit right there and a little bit right here because i don't want it to get too it's not exactly even but when i smooth it out it'll be better so i'm just gonna do that and that and then, I'm going to go in with my brush, if I can find it. Here we go. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. It's my e.l.f. contour brush. I'm going to try it one more time. I usually have to go in with the other one just to kind of blow it out a little bit, but... I'm just trying to get the majority of the product laid down. And smoothed out before and see I don't have a lot of real estate here to work with so I'm having to do it a little higher up I'm trying really hard not to come too far forward you see what I'm doing there 
So, just trying to get it where it's placed really easily for me to not be all muddied up. Because last time, ooh, I had a mess going. Okay. Just don't let your brush come any further forward than what you want the product, you know? Ooh, the brightness on this is crazy. Sorry if it's been glaring on you guys. Just bringing it up. It also helps this uh, sunspot blend in just a bit because it's a really dark brown. Okay, you can kind of see where it's placed. This one is not blended as well, but it does get a muddy look about it because of the sunspot being in there. It kind of makes it look like it's skipped or something, but I promise it'll be okay. I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend it the rest of the way just to kind of get those outside edges really blended and you might think okay if that's all you're doing then why because i don't have any I, I got a round face i don't have any i don't have any cheekbones so i do like to contour i know people have gotten away from it wing goss is like don't do this don't do that don't do this with your eyes don't do this with your you know and i respect him don't get me wrong i really respect him as a makeup artist but guys you, you all know what's good for you and what's not, you know, and if it doesn't look good, that's on you. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, if I do something that don't look good, then I can admit it, you know? All right. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go in with my concealer. Let me turn this fan off while I do it. This is the Born in This Way. I um, finished up quite a few of my... I finished up... The Urban Decay, and I finished up my um, Tarte Shape Tape. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Okay, so I finished all that up. Now it's time for me to go in. I have this brush from uh, Hourglass. It is amazing. It is the uh, concealer brush. It just says Hourglass on it, but it's the little bitty round. It looks like a tiny little fat pencil, but it's got this uh, big, fat, angled, pudgy little tip guys I love it I absolutely love it so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just put a dab here and I'm gonna blend it out because it a little goes a long way it just a dot will do okay and then I'm gonna just gonna go in like that right there I'm gonna need more but I want to get my base down. I just bring it down the side of my nose. And that way, I definitely have makeup on the side of my nose, the corner of my eye, that sort of thing. See how much difference it makes? Let me go in with just another tiny little touch of it. Right there. So it'll cover that orange. And I just tap and then blend and I try to be very gentle because those eyes who them eyes got to do something with them and I do have some scars on the side of my nose and I have to kind of press the product in just a bit um, which causes congestion but you know I mean like I try to do the best I can to keep them, you know, keep my pores clean. So, okay, that may have been too much. Let's see here. But you can see the difference, right? I mean, yeah, you can see a shadow there, but, I mean, there's a huge difference there. If you, if I were looking straight on, you'd, you'd really notice. And, no, not everybody's going to look at me straight on, but it makes me feel better. 
Oh, oh. Okay, guys. So, I've got to know what is the end on you guys? What has been going on? Have y'all been watching any drama channels or anything like that? Have you, you know, what are you watching? Have you started diamond painting yet? Are you addicted like me? Um, you know, I would really like for you guys, um, one of my subscribers, bless her heart, she said she had been here since, um, before my gastric bypass. And she left that comment on my other channel. And I was like, oh, wow, man, that that's a long time. I had to really, you know, time goes by so fast and it's hard for me to sometimes realize how long it's been you know or whatever i do need to figure out when my anniversary is it's in december i do believe but it's a uh, see i just kind of really cover my nose and my under eyes and then up in between my eyes and brows because if my makeup's going to melt off, nine times out of ten, it's going to be in the center of my face. And then I'll just go around the bottom of my nose because I have some redness. And then I'm going to go on the top of that little spot right there. Try to get just a touch of concealer on that so that it's, you know, I'm not adding additional product. But yeah, it's got a little bit of, fades it just a little bit. I'm like that, see? That's not so bad, huh? Okay, now let's put this up. So, am I the only one in the world who's, like, experiencing the fact that, I don't know if I'm just not good at relationships, or if I'm too kind, and I let people run over me until I'm fed up, and then I explode, probably. Um, yeah, I mean, tell me about yourself. Um, do you, have you had, you know, issues in the past, like, Dating and things like that at 50 and 51, wow, <laughs> it's kind of scary. I'm going to go in with some uh, powder and set my eyes real quick. I think I want to go in with my Laura Mercier because I don't really want coverage. I just want, um, I'm just getting it out of the, the lid here. Everywhere I put concealer, is where I'm going in to set with the loose powder. Because I'm going to use that powder foundation that I have. Because that works better for me, especially if I get hot. It seems to work really well for me. So I basically, I put a lot of coverage in the center of my face. And, you know, as I begin to go out for my face, I get lighter and lighter with what I'm doing. Um, because when you're old, <laughs> um, the more you add, the older you're going to look. And that's just a fact. That's just a fact, Jack. Okay, so let me see how I'm going. Okay, not bad. Got hair across my, my face. But okay. Um, let me go in with my... Uh, my makeup and um it's absolutely the best makeup right now for me that's why i use it in every single video and i don't deviate guys i'm not no booty no booty guru I, i'm not a booty beauty guru i don't have people sending me stuff for free i have to use the stuff that i've got i have to use it until it's gone and i don't put makeup on every day so i'm not going through stuff really fast you know what i'm saying i mean Technically, I probably should be throwing some stuff out, but not when I've spent a lot of money on it. You know, like the last major haul I did included this, I do believe. And I'm just like, you know, I, I'm still using it. <laughs> why would I, um, why would I? Trying to avoid my lip because of the lip balm. And I'm avoiding that main area where I put that cream bronzer. So I'm getting the apple of my cheek, but not that. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, like, I'm just not 
able to go out and buy and I don't get stuff sent to me, you know? Like, can't imagine what that would be like. But, what that means is that you're going to see some of the same old, same old products. So, my figuring is, you're not really here to see the products and what I'm using unless it says something like that in the title. That you're pretty much here to listen to me. Which I can't imagine, but because most people in my tell me I need to shut up. <laughs> most people are like, God, shut up. Do you ever stop talking? And I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> no, that's why YouTube is good. Because I can talk and talk and talk and talk. And I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. And I'm definitely not answering myself. But at the same time, if you don't watch it, you don't have to. And I never know. <laughs> oh, God, I'm honey. Mm-mm-mm. Yep. 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 <laughs> but it's all good. You know, I'm happy with that. I, I don't mind. I'm, I, I don't feel bad for that. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Now, I'm going to go in with a bronzer. You can see I'm getting a pretty good, decent amount of um, coverage. If I really wanted super, super heavy coverage, obviously I would use liquid foundation and I would bring it down, you know, to cover this melasma and discoloration that I have. Um, if I could do something with its neck completely, I would, but ain't nobody got the money for that. Okay, so um, my lashes, they're right there. I, I can't lose them. Okay, I mean, I think that's like my last pair of lashes. Okay, so I'm going to go in now with the... Uh, Wet n' Wild bronzer, the color kind. I mean, I could go in with my Marc Jacobs too. Either one works, but just a bronzer, any kind of bronzer, Hoola, anything like that. It don't matter. And I'm just gonna emphasize that and try to spread it out. You can control powder sometimes a little bit better in cases like this if you got a really good brush, that sort of thing. And I shake like jelly anytime i shake or i move fast or i tap my brush off my whole body shakes you know but i'm old i'm old i keep saying that y'all don't even know you don't even know <laughs> oh lord have mercy but yeah i i'm mean, gonna think that i'm just bad at relationships because i mean i try I mean, this one, I put forth some effort. If y'all are friends with me on Facebook, which I know several of you watching are, I mean, I cooked dinner every night. I mean, like, I cleaned up. I kept the house clean and straight, and except for this room. <laughs> uh, but never mind. But, I mean, like, he would get mad if I asked him to take the trash out, and all he's got to do is open the door. And I think I said something about that on my last video. He, I, he didn't want to do shit. And I am doing it all. In addition to trying to take care of my baby girl, you know, and she's sick sometimes because of the way that he's acting. He's, you know, cussing and being loud and carrying on. And he would cough and carry on and it would scare her to death because she can't see and she can't hear. She's old, like her mama. But, I mean, you know, seriously, though, I mean, it was really hard. And, I, you know, I have a chronic illness. I have issues of my own. I, I mean, like, really? Really? <laughs> So, he says he did everything. We both know he didn't. What do you do? What do you say? Okay, I think I'm to the point now where I'm going to do my brows. I don't know if I really want to put a lot of product on my brows. Let me see what I want to do here. Nah, there went the lid. Okay, I'm just going to kind of go in and let me brush them up. Probably not going to do a whole lot with them. I'm just like, I hate really strong brows. And so, I'm thinking seriously about getting, like, getting them tattooed where they're just very light and feathery. And that way I don't ever have to touch them. Because I can never get them straight, you know. I can never get them where they even look like they are related. And I'm just going to do just enough. I mean, it actually needs to be sharpened. Doing just enough through the brow itself. So that there's something touching the skin in these places, especially where there's some gaps. Where it's really, really sparse. Okay, that's about all I'm going to do with that. I know it's not much, but I'm going to stick to that. And then I'm just going to use my Burnett NYX... Uh, 
mascara brow gel thing. Yeah, so that's all I'm going to do with that. And I think I'll be happy with it like that. I don't mind heavy eye makeup. In fact, I do like it pretty well. I mean, you know, like... I mean, obviously, it's pretty pretty bold right now. But... Just comb that through. And that's all I'm going to do for that. And then I'll go in with some gel to fix it right up. I think that it'll be okay like that. Okay, let's see here. If I am going to go in with anything... I probably need to go in now with this outside edge. I need to see if I can blend it just a little bit so it's not quite so sharp. I do try to do that. I just wiggle the brush a little bit, poke it into the crease and just wiggle it back and forth so that it doesn't look like I went and wiped it off like I really did. <laughs> um, just a little something extra. And then when you do your bottom lash line, Brings it all in and makes it tight. Okay, I'm going to go off camera right now. And uh, I'm going to try really hard to put my eyeliner on, which is the, I think it's Garlactic. Yeah, it's the Garlactic. Uh, it's just, a, uh, it's in black, obviously, and it's just a precise. It's the really sharp, really sharp felt tip. Love it. Love it. I have actually been doing my eyeliner a lot more lately because of this. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd try it, and now I love it. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to go in with that and put on my lashes that are legit just stuck right here. <laughs> but I'm going to go do that off camera, and I will be right back. Okay, lashes are on. Don't know if you can see. They're very natural. eyeliner so you can kind of see what I got going on there yes and these are from kiss like their kiss lashes I believe, I do believe. the 110 uh, wispies or some something like that I, you know just the demi wispy or whatever I didn't put on like a really strong lash just a natural one to give my personal lashes my own some length and then I just use this to kind of dust off anything that I might have knocked off while I was doing that now it's time to go in with my, um, let me find my brush for my highlight. Okay, I'm going to go in with my hourglass, just like always. Just go across both of those like that on both sides and tap it off. And then I just go right here to the top of my cheek, right up here. So I got the depth, the depth of the bronzer here. And then I'm highlighting the brow, so it gives my face the illusion of having two bones. <laughs> my face is itching, but I don't know why. Go across these. But yeah, it gives your face the illusion of having some deeper set bone structure. Plus, I just like the way it looks. I love it. Isn't it pretty? It's so sparkly. My nose. My upper lip. See how it highlighted it just a little bit and it gave it a little bit more definition. It looks more like I actually have some puffy lips, but I don't. <laughs> and I'm scared to death of lip plumpers. I've never used one and I'm scared to. I don't know. I I'm not a fan of... Um, I don't want to, like, have to hurt myself and, sorry, <laughs> I hit the, I hit it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I'm not, you know, and I know they say no pain, no gain, but I, yeah, I ain't got to have that kind of pain. <laughs> I don't, I don't want my lips to hurt. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to go in with my um, brow gel, which is, uh, here it is. I'm just going to go in with my brow gel. And I'm going to use it to um, add just a little something, something to my brows. Nothing much. I mean, you know, just a little something. Just to give them a little bit of a lift where they'll stay. Just like that. See, it's not that big a deal. 
it's not you know all this all that it's just it gives me a little bit to work with and then I go back in and I brush it with a brush with a spoolie just to make sure that there's not any heavier spots in some place or another and I also find sometimes that when I do this it uh, makes some of the brow hairs that need to be trimmed a bit that are sticking out need to be trimmed so um yeah I mean it looks kind of rough right now so that's why I'm gonna go in with this little spoolie from this brush just a random brush that I got in a boxy charm I think but it's just got the liner on one end and the spoolie on the other and I just like to kind of go through get out any kind of uh clumps anything like that just to kind of make it look much much neater and it also helps if I've gotten any product somewhere it doesn't really need to be it kind of scratches that off <laughs> but yeah I mean you know I don't want my brows to be overstated because I just don't like that on me for me it's not you know I know a lot of people that like carve it out whoosh they cut that sucker and I mean it could poke you in the heart and kill you but <laughs> that's not me that's not me so I'm just gonna go with it like that right there I didn't do a whole lot as you can see it doesn't take a whole lot for me because I have blonde hair I think helps you know or whatever so all right now it's time to go in with my finishing spray um I always use the same one just about well because I'm out of the others <laughs> I'm just gonna use this to spray my face and that way it'll uh, this is just the skin and idea if you're new I've used it for years um, and I live it and I always overdo it but it's okay it's all good okay I'm gonna go on with my finishing spray and then I'm gonna do my hair well then I'll do my mascara and then I'll do my hair yeah <laughs> here we go Let me turn my fan on so it will start drying me. I don't need a fancy hand fan, you know, one that I can hold up and do like that. I could do that with this one if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, this gets it. My, my shirt gets wet when I spray my face. Is my waterproof mascara this is the l'oreal voluminous waterproof um i like it better than the lash paradise that's just a personal preference i mean you know but all i'm going to really do with this turn this off the only thing i'm really going to do is i'm just going to use a little bit on my upper lashes just to blend them together and then i'll put some on the lower lash line and then i'll be finished with my makeup Not bad. Okay. Bottom. And I don't go all the way in like I used to. It doesn't stay anyway because my eyes do tend to water just a bit. See what that light on right there? Something like that. My makeup mirror. It's sensing movement and so it comes on. But the thing is, is that it's not a warm incandescent it's more of a it looks like a yeah really light on the under eyes um i just i want it to have kind of like the big bang effect on the upper lash i've been kind of digging that lately i'm not really sure why but i just do the lashes this is the second coat And then what happens is I get a little bit further in on that second coat. And yes, they are a little bit spidery, but they're not spidery all the way to the corner. So let me go in with that same spoolie. And I'm just going to kind of... You can see where my eyes touch. I'm already starting to get some stuff transferring. That's okay. 
I know how to get rid of that. <laughs> Let me go in with, um, I've got, I've got a microfiber towel here that I like to use while I'm getting ready. And that way I can kind of clean a brush up real fast or something, you know. So I will use this. I just cleaned it really good. And I'll use this once my lashes dry to clean up all of this mess that I've got here. And you'll never know it was even there. And it doesn't, you know, lift up any of my makeup or anything like that. So let's see. Do you guys wonder if you guys would like to see me do my hair or not? I'll do it. If you don't want to watch, you don't have to. Yeah. Because a lot of this is going to be edited anyway. So, okay. Well, let me just go in then. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, put my mirror away. Get my brush back out. I'm going to go ahead and get my, my hot iron over here. Or not my hot iron, my, my curling iron here. It's just a really old one I'll use. No big deal to it, you know, nothing like that. All right, let me get this stuff taken care of. Okay, while my curling iron is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and section off the top part of my head so that it's easier because it's so thick that it, you know, it's hard to, uh, get it curled all the way. I mean, like, you know, I'll, there'll be sections missing if I don't do it in sections. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. It, it'll, it'll not be good. Let me put it like that. My hair falls out really bad too because it has some breakage and lots of different other reasons stress sometimes will do it so just uh okay now i'm just gonna brush this area down below get it nice and smooth i'm gonna put a little bit of um hairspray on it before i curl it while that's heating mostly in the ends and then near the face. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. Let me put that there. I've got hair hanging in my face even. Okay. While that's heating, I'm getting ready. I'm just going to go in and clean that off my under eye. Because my eyes are now dry. And then that should be it for my face. Except for lips. So I'm not going to do those until I'm ready to leave. So might as well do my hair first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section it off. And then even though it's got hairspray in it. I'm still going to comb through it. Because when I put it in the iron. I don't want it to get crimped or something. Because it's not smooth. So always brush through it with a comb or a brush or something. Just to get it, you know, where it's nice and smooth. And then you'll have nicer curls. And I just go around my entire head. Like this. And do sections one at a time. And I just let it kind of cool just a little bit. Kind of lift it just a little bit. Let it get it, give it a second to cool. My color, you can see there's some, I had some bleed through. It's okay, you can't really see it. Here we go. And then I'll just do this all the, oh, I just burnt my ear. And then I'll just do this all the way around. Okay, I have gotten some Goldilock curls. <laughs> it doesn't stay real tight for very long. Um but that's okay. At least it's smooth and wavy. Um, so I'm just going to go into the top section like this right here. I'm just going to cut straight across. I just use my fingernail to cut to kind of do it with. And then I section it off once again. And then 
I take that section and I section it off again, halfway, just like that. And then I go in and I just get it all up so that I can work on it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the bottom of it too. And because it tends to be pretty thick through here, I do uh, separate it into two sections. So I've got, I guess you could say like an upper section, which is close to the crown of my hair. And then I have what's underneath. If I try doing it together, then some of it falls or it gets cramped. So it's just easier for me if I will go ahead and section it off while I'm curling it. I can remember back in the day, I used to just go and put hot curlers in my hair and then leave them in until they were cool. <laughs> and so I would be up and doing all kinds of stuff when my hair was curling. I remember those days so well. Wow, it's been a really long time since I've done anything like that. I mean, a really long time. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, this is the way that I do it, and that's pretty much it. Then I will get dressed, put on um, some lipstick and that sort of thing, but I am going to have to eat before I leave because I'm hungry right now. And so let me finish my hair, and I will be Right okay, back. guys, this is what it ended up looking like, um, and I'm finished getting ready, and I did take an extra long time because I was talking to you guys, you know, and stopping and doing things, but it was fun, I think. If you like to just hear me hammer on about stuff, then maybe you enjoyed. I don't know, but if you did like this video of me just chatting and talking while I'm doing my business, then definitely give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. I would really appreciate that. And that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope that you have time to watch because it's going to be a long one. I can already tell. I, I've got editing to do, but it's long. I know it is. I'm looking at the timer. So I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Be safe this weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.